Hi there, this is Mike from MySolarHome.us and this video is going to be about the best solar generators. I'm going to be talking about the top 15 solar generators and I've broken it up into five sections. Solar generators below 100 bucks, less than 200, less than 350, less than 500 and the biggest ones which are more than a thousand. To get started, let's look at two things which are important in a solar generator, their capacity and how much AC power can they output. Capacity is basically how much power is stored inside the generator, much like how much water is stored in this large bottle of water, 5 gallons, 10 gallons. Similarly, you have 100 watt hours, 200 watt hours, 500 watt hours, maybe even 1000 watt hours. Now, how much of it can you use at one time? It's like how much can you drink at a time? Can you drink half a gallon at a time, one gallon? Similarly, your AC power available, is it 100 watts? Is it 200 watts? Is it 300 watts? So let's get started with the sub hundred dollar solar generators. The first one is the Renogy Phoenix 100. As you can see, these sub hundred dollar solar generators are really small. They barely a little bigger than a standard soda can. You're usually able to carry them in flight, but it's always better to check. It's got a 97 watt hour capacity and that's good enough to charge a smartphone six to nine times, your tablet two to three times, you know, your camera has 14 to 15 charges, but remember a laptop maybe once or at the max twice. It's got a single AC outlet, one USB and one USB-C, and the unit weighs about 1.1 pound. At 80 bucks, it's a good buy, and Renogy is a well-regarded brand in the market. The next one is the Novo 81. This is a good-looking unit. It even the size of a large Coke can. It can charge a laptop once or twice and it's good enough to power USB, USB-C and a single AC device. At 79 bucks, 3.9 pounds, the Novo is a new entrant doing very well. The next unit is the RAF Power 80. At 87 bucks, this is the fastest of the three in terms of charging speed, it can charge an iPhone 12 in just 30 minutes, up to 50%. That's thanks to its fast charging USB port, 18 watts compared to 10 watts, and USB-C at 30 watts compared to the usual 18 watts. Let's look at all three of them together. Prices are very, very similar. The largest capacity is the Renogy 100 at 97 watt hours. It's Max AC output at 85 is also larger than the other two. The RAV80 scores because of its very fast charging compared to the other two. The Novo 81 scores on style. All three are winners in this category. Let's start with the sub 200 buck category now with the Renogy Phoenix 200. At 189 watt hours of power, it can output 200 watts of AC, which is enough to power a fridge or a freezer in addition to the regular laptops, phones, etc. You can power the Renogy from the wall or from solar panels from a car charger. At 197 bucks, it's the priciest among the three, but it's 200 watt AC capacity scores. Next, we have the Aim Tom 155. This has got a lower AC output at 100 and its power capacity of 155 watt hours, but it does well. It's got a price of 136 and weight of 3.5 pounds. It can charge other than a fridge and a freezer, smaller devices like a television, and it's perfect for weekend trips. The Jackery 160 is the most powerful of the lot. It's got an AC output of 330 watts, priced at 139 bucks, it's great value too. As you can see, you can carry it around very easily on your outdoor trips at 3.9 pounds. Weight is not bad, but like I said, at 330 watts, you can use it to even run a sump pump, a fridge or a freezer in, in addition to all the usual devices. The Chakri is part of a family. All of them have nice informative displays showing how much power is being inputted into the generator and how much battery capacity remains. Let's look at the three sub 200 solar generators together. Chakri 160 is clearly the best value at 139 bucks and 330 watts of super output for AC. The Renogy comes a close second because it's got more power at 189 watt hours and the AIM-TOM scores because of its low weight. Three good choices. 
Let's start with the sub 350 solar generators. The difference between the sub 350 and the sub 200 is that they have additional DC outputs, usually a cigarette lighter charger and two DC 12 volt outlets. Size wise and weight wise, they're slightly larger. For example, this one's the Boulder 330 is about 7.1 pounds. The AC output is, of course, a little higher at 330 watts with 197 watt hours of capacity and a $269 price tag. Boulder 330 also boasts of a nice informative LCD display. Next, we have the Jackery 240. This one's priced at about 250 bucks. Comparable power, 240 watt hours, but the AC output is lower at 200 watts. Again, the DC outputs are standard on this category, and the weight at 6.6 LB makes it a slightly lighter than the other one. With an AC, two USB, one DC 12 volt, the cigarette charger outlet, and the informative Jackery display. The solar generator can be charged with solar panels through a wall AC or through a cigarette charger adapter, which is standard for most solar generators. Our third is the Renogy 300. At a 348 bucks, it's a little pricey, but it boasts of tremendous charging speed. The USB charges at 18 watts, the USB-C at 60 watts, which is outstanding. At 6.4 pounds, and decent power 200 watts of AC capacity, 337 watt hours of base capacity. This is a strong contender in this category. Looking at the three, the Renogy 300 scores highly because of its very fast charging, its two AC outlets. The Jackery scores because of its big display and its fabulous pricing is the lowest among the three. The Boulder 330 has a large display and it's got more AC power than the others, 330 watts compared to 200 for the other two, and it's got more USB and DC outputs. Let's look at the sub $500 solar generator, starting with the AIM Tom 540. It's at $429 with a nice LCD display and battery indicator, three USB plus one USB-C output, two AC outlets, weighs about 11 pounds, it's standard charging, the USB and the USB-C is 18 watts and 15 watts each. With 500 watts of AC output power, it can power larger devices like a mixer grinder, small tools, which is a big plus. The Jackery 500 at 499 bucks is another value pick at this category. Nice display, one AC outlet, three USB, two DC 12 volt, and a cigarette charger output. Charging is easy, solar panels, generator, AC, or cigarette lighter charger. It's great for camping trips. Size is great, easy to carry around at 13 LB with 518 watt hours of capacity, which is standard in this category. And again, 500 watts of AC output so that you can power a lot of larger devices. Of course, not bigger tools, but the smaller tools are a definite possibility. Third is the Watt Fund 500. This has got a 500 watt hour capacity comparable with the other two, but its AC output is a little lower at 300 watts. And that's why it's got a lower price tag to 399. Two AC outlets, four USB, one USB-C, which is high speed, 45 watts, which is actually outstanding. And the other thing is it's got wireless charging. You can charge phones which are capable of wireless charging by just putting it on top, as you can see here. The unit is really good looking too. So that's a plus multiple charging outputs and it's 13 and a half pounds, pretty stylish. The three of them, the Watt Fun is the best in terms of price, fast USB charging, and decent outputs. The Jackery is a little expensive in my opinion, but the Mtom 540 at 429 is another value pick with 500 watts of output just like the Jackery, where the Watt Fun scores a little lowly because of its 300 watts, but overall, the Mtom 540 is a number two, and the Jackery 500 is the number three. Starting with the big boys, the Jackery 1000, very similar to the 500 with the same 500 watt AC output, but with 1,002 watt hours of capacity. Additional outputs in terms of USB and a fast charging 35 watt USB-C adds some ohm to it. it. Can power most of the devices below 500 watts, which is substantial. Charging through solar panels, AC outputs, cigarette charger, as well as generator. Next, we have the Yeti 1500X, $2,000, expensive, but this is a big boy. It's got an AC output of 2000 watts and a power of 1516 watt hours. This can power tools and large tools, which is a big plus. 
you can work on an electric grill, take it out for long trips outdoors, and it's got fast charging, but takes time about eight hours to charge this guy. And it's got a nice mobile app to look at its performance. It's a little on the heavier side at 43 pounds. Next one is the Maxo Blue AT 1500. 1500 watt hours of power, 1000 watt hours of AC output. That's like the Jackery, but less the Yeti. This one's got two ways of charging from solar panels or directly through the wall. No cigarette lighter charging. 1000 watt AC output, it's able to do most devices like blenders, refrigerator, power tools, as long as they're less than 1000 watts. And it's a decent weight at 37.9. Looking at all three of them together, it's clearly the Jackery 1000, which is the best value, and it's the lightest both on the wallet as well as on the weight of 22 LBs. Its only drawback is 500 watts of AC power compared to the two others in this category, and it's slightly lower powered at 1,002 watt hours. Yeti 1500X scores big on the power. 2,000 watts of AC output means you can run large devices on this one, maybe run a small tool shop. The Blue Yeti is also powerful, 1,500 watts of capacity just like the Yeti, but with a slightly smaller 1000 watt AC output. And that's it. We've come through all the 15's best solar generators. I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe to my channel. Links to all the products are below in the description. Thank you again and have a wonderful day.